This is no time to fly solo in American culture today. And this is why I am so glad that along the way of helping me navigate through the cultural challenges that are right here within our state and beyond, that we have Jerry Cox of the Arkansas Family Council to help us along the way. Pastors need to be involved in the cultural, social, and political arenas of life. We cannot be silent, and we certainly cannot sit this one out. In fact, we need to stop seeing these cultural and social and political arenas as obstacles in our way. But they are literally doors that God has presented before us that I believe He wants to see opened for His glory so the preaching and the teaching of the gospel can explode throughout our state, all across our nation, and yes, even across the world. And so I want to encourage you as a congregation and encourage you as a spiritual leader here in the state of Arkansas to think about some ways that you can be informed and you can be involved. This is where partners like the Arkansas Family Council and Jerry Cox come into play in this entire experience right here in the state of Arkansas. I mean, they are knowledgeable, they understand what is happening, and you have to weigh where you are in relationship to perhaps what they present you. But at least they can inform you with the pros and the cons, and you pray through it, and you judge everything by God's Word, because God's Word is the ultimate filter and no one else. And that's why I'm excited about the Arkansas Family Council, because they're active in our state as a policy group. And you know what? I believe that is so important because if we do not maintain the correct policies within our state and even beyond in America, then we will see a lessening of the ability to preach the gospel and we will see religious liberty all of a sudden become absolutely choked out of Arkansas life and choked out of American life. That is not acceptable. America was founded upon the principle of religious liberty and the Church of Jesus Christ should be vigilant in the fight for preserving religious liberty in our land. You know, as I have an opportunity to talk to you today in these final moments, perhaps you have been one to shy away from politics. So what should, you, what should you need and what do you need to know in this hour? Well, I'll tell you what you need to know. Be wise, be prepared, speak when you need to speak, and be silent when you need to be silent. But you never go wrong when you represent the Lord and His Word. And as a pastor, I'll tell you how people will respond to us better when we're not only committed to sharing the truth, but we share it in the right tone where we can be heard. I believe the key to that is holding God's truth in one hand and holding the love of God in the other. And may all of us do that right here in the state of Arkansas as we navigate through these cultural waters that we find ourselves in today.